Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are thanks for coming back. If you are a beauty person, if you are someone who really loves personal care, if you are someone who actually loves to take care of your skin and you have heard about this product, how far I would take by the ordinary and have not have not got one in your beauty box, please get one. Because this product has been my holy grail for some time now. I've been using it for more than a year now. I add the ordinary niacinamide to rape for Nick. I don't have niacinamide, my niacinamide is finished, but I still have this. It's not even full. It's halfway through. This product is very good. It has helped with my hyperpigmentation and that's helped to clear small small spots on my face that I will be putting maybe somewhere here before and after. And this product is very, very good. And sometimes you don't have to load too much of cosmetic products on your face. Not like sometimes. We all don't have to load too much cosmetic products on our face. And then mostly after you use your cleanser, your serums, your moisturizer, and putting everything in there, you have to make sure one product gets dried up on the face before you add another product on top of it. Because most of the times when you put on, especially moisturizers, on serums that are not dried yet, some people get reactions. I am part of those people. I get reactions when my serums are not dried and I can buy my moisturizers on it. And I'm getting bad reactions. And I'm getting this small, I know, I know, small, small spots, things on my face. And it's not that good, not that healthy. You have to come and treat that one also. I don't use a lot of serums on my face. On a normal day, I get that cinnamide and alpha routine. And I'm good to go. One thing you need to know is when you're using um, serums, you don't have to let the dropper get on top of your skin gets too close to your skin because maybe you have some bacteria on your face and then you end up getting the, the dropper infected with your skin or the bacteria on it and then you put it back into the bottle you apply it back and you are reinfecting yourself so i recommend you actually cleanse your face you cleanse your face very well with your wives or if you have a cleanser you cleanse your face nicely and then you drop the alpha on your skin okay so i don't have makeup on my face today I'm not an everyday makeup person. I barely do makeups. I barely get myself made up. Unless I'm going for special locations like weddings, parties, and all. If you're in Ghana, you know how hot our weather is. So, on the normal day, it's like putting layers, like a lot of layers and products on your face. It doesn't help. Me, I don't I don't feel comfortable in makeup, especially wearing makeup outside. I don't feel comfortable wearing makeup outside, outside like that. If it's my lash, I get fixed. Actually, I'm not even comfortable in this lash. I'll get it removed in the next one. I got it fixed two days ago, and I'm not so comfortable in it. I'll take it off and then. I whip my natural. So back to the alpha apotin. When you're using it, don't get a dropper um, and cleanse on your face like that. So you drop it on your skin very from the dropper. And then you rub it. I think I dropped too much, but I normally I just use one. One drop. Five to ten minutes and then this gets dry up and then that is it i use it in the a.m and in the p.m in the mornings and in the evening but then when i anytime i realize for a while that anytime i use alpha routine especially when it's very sunny now that we know it's very very sunny almost throughout the year like almost not like throughout the year it's, it's very sunny the temperature is very high and mostly when i'm out in the sun and i use alpha routine in the sun i get sunburns i end up getting very bad sunburn so i stopped using alpha routine in the mornings and I only started using it in the evening and I incorporated niacinamide that's when I incorporated niacinamide in my facial routine so alpha routine itself by the serum they are saying we should apply a few drops to the face in the a.m. and p.m. as part of our skincare regimen I know that you guys can see but this is the alpha routine talking about by the serum so alpha routine is very good if you're out there only using the skincare only introducing the skincare to your brand or if you're already using any skincare and you have been incorporated alpha routine Please do well because it's very good. It helps with hyperpigmentation. It helps with um, spots on the face. It helps the skin to glow. And with me personally, it helps to moisturize my skin. So if you're out there and you suffer from pigmentation, you have a bumpy skin and all that, just make your research. Another time, I'll do a very thorough research and come and give you. But this is a personal review that I'm posting. So as I said earlier, Alpha Boutine was giving me some burns during the day when I used them. And so I got this. 
I got this. This product by La Roche. It's quite expensive. But this has been my holy grail for the past like three months now. I'm in love with this sunscreen. I wouldn't be stepping out today, so for demonstrative purposes, should I use it? Yeah, La Roche has been my holy grail sunscreen for some time now. And because of La Roche Posé sunscreen, this is I'm able to use alpha routine in the mornings when I'm stepping out. Um, and I don't get sunburns all thanks to this. La Roche has um, UVV and UVA, so it protects you, the SPF protects you from sun damage. And you know, black people, there's this misconception out there that our skin is already black, so why bother yourself protecting it from the sun? I'm like, yo, like, maybe our forefathers didn't know about sunscreens and the need for protecting our skin, but you know, the sun rays can give us skin cancers and everything, so it's always good to be on the safer side to use sunscreens because sunscreen protects you from having direct contact with so sunscreen. Please, yeah. If you're out there and you haven't gotten La Roche Posay, do go and get one. I get this from Instagram. I buy all my skincare products from a vendor on Instagram. I'll be leaving her accounts in the description box. So those that want to buy La Roche and Alpha Abitin can go ahead and then order for your product from her. The lady is very very nice and she has authentic products only. These are the products that I would want to talk about today. So guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Using the Laverage Pose, usually it's a bit very watery. Not like watery, watery, but it's a bit watery. So what I do is I apply it a bit on my fingers and then I rub it. The other routine is not completely dry on my face. Yeah, it's, it's dry. So I apply a generous amount and then I get it on my face. Seriously, I'm not so comfortable. I'm not like too comfortable in this lash. It's a bit too long, not my style. I prefer being natural at all times. I'm going to take it off when I can. So, that is it. If you're out there and you haven't taken your skincare serious, please do so, okay? Because there's nothing like having a glowy, beautiful skin when you walk in. So, I'm going out masking your skin in makeup. So, if you're out there and you, haven't, you don't have a skincare routine, um, this is going to be my first skincare video. Don't forget to like this video and please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do go to subscribe. And if you want me to do any other product review, whether partnery, whether ceramic, whatever product, let me know in the description box. I'll get this product tried there and give you a product review about them. Till we meet again. Bye.